Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, thought I'd come out here today and bother the dog, take up some of this space here on the couch, and uh, shoot this little video for you all. Got a couple things to go over. I guess first, uh, got a little viewer mail here. I'm sure you all have seen these going around. I've got some A Bomb 79 decals from my buddy Adam down there in Pensacola, Florida. So I appreciate him sending those to me. May I put one of them on my my Dodge truck since uh, that happens to be one of my most popular videos. Anyway, uh, I'll put it on it while I'm riding around. I'll I'll have that on there, and then I'll try and figure out someplace to put it in the shop here. Or I may save it for when I get the the new shop done and and uh, put a place up in there. I think it'd be pretty good. Uh, kind of be a welcoming present. So, got a couple new items here. Uh, bought some accessories for my grinder. Uh, in case y'all are wondering, uh, Enco currently has a 20% off free shipping thing going. Uh, you can find the codes for it if you look online. I, I got them off of a practical machinist guy I had put them up there. I think it's 20. Uh, Mar Vip and Mar Ship, and that gets you both of them. So that's a pretty good deal. So anyway, I've got a grinder project to do. So wanted to do some cylindrical grinding. So I figured, well, I'll get one of these spindexes, and I can use that on my surface grinder to make a cylindrical grinder. So you know, they're like. Fifty dollars or something on there, so twenty percent off. And it's forty bucks. So here's what you get for forty dollars, and I'm gonna tell you it ain't a whole lot, but for forty dollars, I probably wouldn't expect a whole lot. And this is gonna see a nasty life on the grinder, so I, it's gonna be good enough probably for what I'm gonna do. So I'm not too worried about it. But I'll show you anyway. This fine fine craftsmanship that you get out of China. So this is the spindle and it's not awful but it's certainly not ground. <laughs> uh, that's a turn finish on there. So definitely not precision. Call it closer same thing, it, it's turned at a fairly high feed rate by looking at it. But it does screw on okay and that works, so. Got a little plastic handle on here, not too bad. But the, the toughest part is this casting you get. I mean, it's, a, it's definitely not a clean casting. I mean, it's got lumps in it and stuff. It looks like something I do in my backyard probably so I'm gonna say the kid that cast this he probably you know maybe eight nine years old probably doesn't have the experience to really do good foundry work yet maybe it'll graduate him on to something else later and uh, the inside of this has no bushings it's just bare cast and it's rougher than hell I mean it <laughs> it's a uh, it's definitely not a smooth finish of any kind. Uh, you can probably even with the light in here see the lines on the surface face there. You might be able to see down in there too good, but uh, it's pretty much the same down in there. So, but eh, it's going to get grinder dust. Probably won't last too long and it'll just get pitched, but it'll get this job done anyway. So, just wanted to show you what you get there for the money. Might would maybe, I don't know if the phase twos are any better than this or, or not. They may not be, but you'll get to see that in action on the grinder. Does fit tight, I don't have any run out in it. Uh, doesn't turn too free either, but good enough so 
Let's go out and shop and take a look at what else we got. I'll give you a hint. This goes with it. Okay, so here it is. A little heat treat oven. It's part of my goal to be a more functional full service shop. I decided to pick this piece up. Because that will let me do these tappets you saw in the other video. I'll be able to heat treat those. Got a bunch more of them over there on the table. So I'll uh, get those dudes in the oven here and uh, get them up to 1800 degrees and quench them in that oil I showed you. And then we'll temper them back. And then I'll take them over onto the surface grinder and we'll use that spin index and a collet block to get the surface exactly flat and smooth and the diameters precise on them for the bores they run in because it's just a metal to metal fit and uh, just has oil clearance so they're pretty critical and I like to have them nice and smooth so when they're running five six thousand rpms there's no issues uh, and so Let's uh, get this oven fired up and we'll get it up to temperature. Put the tappets inside. We'll be able to view them through the little port here. You'll even be able to see them glowing in there. And uh, we'll get these dudes knocked out. Okay, guys, we're back out here. We're getting there. Got the heater on. Let's see if. Hopefully that's showing up pretty good. Got those tappets cooking. Alright. You really see those suckers are glowing now. Got a good orange color to them. Indicating that our oven is about right temperature. for doing a quench. So, I think it's probably too much light. I don't know if y'all can see those or not. I can see them with my eyes, but I'm gonna say this camera maybe can't pick those up. It's probably whiting out. But while we got our parts cooking over there, we're doing a little boring work over here. Got a nice little chunk of cast iron there in the in the chuck, boring him out there inside, put needle bearings in. Okay, so there we go. While our pieces are cooking over there, got this cut out for the bearing. Sits up in there good. This bearing won't stay, but we should be good to go. Let's put it together. There she is. Thank you. 
Well, there she is, a little raging inferno. Where hardened steel parts are born. So we're still sitting 1700 degrees. Uh, cooling down now. I got my parts out, got them quenched. Got a little pile of them laying there. These two buckets still, still got some in them, smoldering there. So we'll get this cool dude cooled back down some, and then we'll uh, temper these bad boys. Hard turning sure does leave a mirror finish. I said I was getting a better finish on the, the lathe than I was getting on the grinder. Uh, I guess that uh, spindex doesn't have enough rigidity and it's got just a little bit of vibration and you can see it show up in the lines on it. So came over here to Monarch because it's more steady and uh, turn these out and I'm happy with that I mean that thing is smooth smooth okay so here we are over here at the grinder finishing up these tappets so what I got here is just a collet block that I can just take and slide these down into lock them down And I've already got the height set, so it'll all be exactly the same. Let's fire it up. Start grinding. Back out of the way. Okay, call it loose. Wait for the wheel to quit. And there we are. Nice. 
nice smooth finish. Okay guys, so here's one that's all done up. Something got a real nice smooth finish on the outside there. And a good smooth finish on the top. So now you've seen these parts. If you follow my channel from start to finish, uh, it's completely done in-house. Uh, one finish completed. High strength, high wear, high toughness tap it. So this thing's ready to go on a motor and see a lot of abuse. So thanks for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I, one thing I definitely learned from this video series is that it's uh, I wanted to get some good footage in the furnace and I didn't wrap the tappets which was kind of a bad idea uh, I ended up having probably a half dozen of them out of mm, I guess it was three sets so a half dozen out of 36 then I'm gonna have to make over again because uh, uh, they decarb so bad that uh, they wouldn't clean up normally I leave 10 thousandths extra and uh, it wasn't enough so you either have to leave 20 thousandths uh, for cleanup or you're going to have to be sure that you wrap them so that you don't end up with uh, pitting and, and kind of galling and uh, just a rough kind of burn up looking steel surface. So thanks for watching.